be alive. Give me one second and we'll double check uh, on the other device because uh, I'm not sure if that one will work or not. So first I will see if I can see myself. Because mm. I'm not sure if I'm visible at all. Guys, uh, can you see me on uh, on the group? Because uh, somehow I don't see myself. Okay, yeah, I see myself. I see myself, but I'm not sure if I'm the only one who can see myself. Okay, so. Let's see, let's see, okay, uh, um, Rose, uh, did I do everything good? Uh, let me know, because uh, I can, okay, something, something is going wrong, I have comments handy, okay, so we can start. <clears throat> I think I think we can start uh, just let me know if you can see me and hear me all right uh, I believe so but uh, who knows uh, oh, okay perfect 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 uh, I have no idea why I don't see comments from some kind of reason on the tablet but maybe they will appear later on so guys uh, my plan for today is altering the table I will make a close-up and uh, it will make sure that you can see like everything yeah. my plan was totally different we supposed to take a cupboard but then I realized that for my idea, for that cupboard, I don't have the space. I don't have the way to show you, um, you know, whole process, <laughs> the project. Because <laughs> right now uh, we are sitting in my living room. And uh, yeah, because cupboard flipped, so I bought myself a table. I will show you the box. Because it's in the pieces. Where is? Yeah, here we have uh, blah, 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 the picture of the table. So it's a side table. It's quite big. So it will be still two day project. Today we will make the um, first uh, painting and embellishing. It will dry till tomorrow, and tomorrow we will finish it off. I will add all the. Uh, all the touches and uh, all the cool stuff uh, so yeah today we are starting the project whole idea about the table is that you have like double top so here you can uh, you can place some stuff and here we have the secret space the table was on sale and it was quite dodged, but I thought that it's perfect for altering. Uh, and what I want to do with that, uh, I still, I'm still not sure what, uh, where the project will take us. We'll just go with the flow. I'm pretty sure that I want to use some of the uh, new uh, rice papers. I just received my... Uh, uh, parcel and I found those beautiful 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 papers inside so we will use some papers and I also found in my parcel oh my god and I seriously I love those there were 
and new glitter pastes. I don't know if you can see the sparkle. Wait, let me see here uh, if I'm showing it correctly to the camera. Uh, they have inside a ton of glitter. So my idea is like that. I will go with the rice paper all around and I will make a top with glittery paste and some rice paper as well. I also have prepared some uh, resin casts. Uh, okay, here is the camera. Uh, some resin casts from Redesign with Prima uh, molds and I have some Fingerbar molds uh, also casted and painted black because um, probably they will be metallic-ish. We will go this way or another. Um, oh, hi, Jason. So nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, so probably this way or another, we will end up with some kind of industrial look. So I will scoot you a little bit closer and we will change angle a little bit. Cause okay right now like that because i want to make sure that you can see everything okay we will use my plate here underneath so it will be Ta-da! okay great is it stable it's quite stable okay i have the comment section on the side and i can make you make some close-ups for you guys okay so the table was gray uh, i uh, sanded slightly with the sanding paper hello hello and uh, added one coat of gesso it doesn't have to be perfect i just want it to be a little bit lighter you can see inside that it was quite dark gray and all the edge here was uh, damaged. Probably somebody dropped it. I mean, it's good for me because I got it really, really cheap. And it will be an awesome project. So I think that I want to use a Science Lover uh, paper. Uh, let me open the packet. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh yes. It's so sweet. So, so beautiful and they are quite big that will give me a nice coverage yes okay so here we have a science lover and i love those areas with uh, of course some steampunk motifs and i think that i want to use those and those uh vintage ones all over my table and i think that that will look super awesome so we will go with that uh, and another one that i have handy in case that i need uh, some a little bit lighter accents uh, will be journaling uh, mini slides with and here we have some beautiful butterflies wait i'll show you on one one sheet okay let's put them aside so they will not get damaged but they will be handy uh, so here is a much smaller pattern and those lighter areas i can use here and there in case that i will need some accents so we will start with that. So I have my table like it will be when it's assembled because I want the pattern to uh, be matchy matchy. On the top part and on the bottom I will make a, a cut later on um, but first we want to cover it. Okay so to add my rice paper to my table I will be using a soft gloss gel and I'm going for the gloss um, effect because probably on the top that will be glittery again I will use those new pastes so
so um, I want to put the resin on top and make sure that it will set till tomorrow. Okay, so let's start adding my rice paper. Okay, here I have my gloss gel. I just make sure that it's the open one. Okay, and my first piece, how much do I need? I need this, this length. I will just trim the paper. It will be easier to work with. I'm trying to use as big piece as possible to have a seamless look. But I also want to focus on those um, mechanical elements. Uh, I will leave the, because uh, we have on the paper, I will show you in one second. I will just trim. Perfect. So here I have my first piece. Except of those mechanical patterns, we also have some photographs. And I will save the photographs for some other project. Uh, and today I will focus on elements. And in each package, I have like six sheets of paper. That means, um, hello Annette, how are you? How are you guys? And what time is it for you? Because for me it's 11 p.m. That means it's my <laughs> prime time, <laughs> like I call it. I'm, I'm super night owl, like you probably can deduct from the fact that I'm live at 11 p.m. Okay, and let's go around the picture here. Okay, one second. I know you cannot see me right now. That is because you will either see the table or me myself. <laughs> uh, and I look ridiculous today, guys, because I had like a steampunky theme the day. In, in the local shop, we had the online event, and I'm still, <laughs> I'm still wearing the the hairstyle and um, and part of the outfit, <laughs> so it looks like I dressed up a lot for that live stream. <laughs> okay, yeah, it will be perfect. Okay, I will start with this belt, uh, with this piece. And here I will add uh, sim the same one. I will just rotate it uh, from another paper. So we will have a nice uh, seamless transition of the colors. I will just reap the edge. So because the edge is distressed here, it has like nice black uh, edging. And I want it to be just almost seamless transition okay okay oops no worries yeah and let's start so i will apply my uh, soft gel i have a plate here this plate is in the frame yes perfect okay a little bit of soft gel and I will use sponge because I have to cover quite a big, uh, quite a big area. Where are the sponges? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. It's just regular kitchen sponge, you know, the, the one that you use to do the dishes or something like that. Um, my soft gel will dry like very, very fast. So I have to work quite fast to have really nice effect I'm adding quite a bit of gel to make sure that we will not have those air bubbles underneath uh, and tell me should I go all around on the stream or you just want me to work on one area and then um, finish it off later on so a little bit of uh, soft gel underneath and on top of my paper and i already see that we don't have any uh, pockets underneath okay so we will 
rotate the piece. Make sure that it's stable. Yes, it is. More soap jar. And the air projects like that will kind of eat up your supplies, but it's a big piece. And I'm quite excited that I will have this super fancy table. So uh, underneath the paper, you will not see the poor paint job that I did because I should. I know that for the furniture alternation, I should, mm, you know, like sand off the old layer of paint and all of that, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't because you will not see that. Uh, it's light enough and my paper will cover it up nicely and I use the same plate that I use for gesso that's why we have some white splotches here so to avoid that I will just spread my soap gel here without using my plate and I'm adding gentle pressure and just make sure, you know, you don't want to go too hard because then your rice paper will be ripped. But it has to be enough to make sure that everything stick and you squeeze out the air from underneath. It's really, really good. No air pockets whatsoever okay let's turn it again okay great and now now which section of the paper I want to use uh, all those hanging edges will have to be sanded off when it's dry you can trim them but I think I will just go with the sanding okay and again I will reap the edge to make sure that my patterns will go seamlessly and the coloring on paper is quite consistent we have red areas we have some beige areas um, okay okay as you watch me and I see some comments that's great if you have any co uh, questions just uh, type them down. There is a huge chance that I will see it. Uh, gel, so no, paper is not uh, by uh, um, redesign. It's Finabar's uh, paper uh, from the latest release. I'm super excited because uh, my piece, like I said, uh, we are meeting today and the same time tomorrow to finish it off. Today we will do gluing and painting and tomorrow we will do vintaging and adding all the effects. Uh, and this stream is part of Finaba guesting and teaming up with Redesign with Prima. I think that both uh, uh, both lines go so well together, they complement each other and it's such a cool idea to just show them together. Okay, so now I have the air pockets, so I will just gently remove my paper and tap it. And now some of the soap jar on top. Okay, and a clean sponge and let's gently top off all the bubbles so here we have a tricky part because we have the, mm, the grip so I will make sure that my paper is stuck down and later on I will just sand off around it I will do all the sanding um, tomorrow during the day so no worries you will not have to watch me sanding stuff for hours um, for now I just want to make sure that I covered everything okay nice decent layer and let's turn it again so you can see it 
So here is the part that I didn't paint it yet. So let's grab some gesso. And on fresh gesso, I can stick my paper as well. I will not have to. Come on, come on here. Yeah, I will not have to reapply gel because gesso will stick my paper quite well as, as well. I'm just trying not to have too many blobs on the edge. I think that I will make the edge golden with the paste. Okay, perfect. Hold it right there. Yes. Belinda says your paper is upside down. I know that it's upside down. I don't care. It, the, it looks cool. As you were. Okay. <laughs> Hello, thank you. Thank you guys. I know that the lettering is upside down, but I think that it still looks cool. I cared just about the color, not about the pattern, because uh, I will either have the seamless um, transition, but thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, it will look cool. After we will age it, you will not see that it's upside down. Okay, and now I'm running off the paper. Okay. Okay. I make sure that everything lies nice, flat, smooth, without creases, without bubbles. I want this first layer to be like perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now I have to make a turn. Give me one second. Now we will make a turn and I'm wrapping my stuck paper underneath because I don't want it to stick out on the edges. Okay, perfect. Great, okay. So now I will have to match um, that area. I need something greenish and it doesn't have to be a lot of greenish one. So here I have the leftover with the people. So I will put it aside for another project. Let's look at this part. Can we use this part? Now it will be quite obvious that those are the characters. So let's put it on the side. So unfortunately, I will have to start up a new sheet of oh, my paper. Okay, come on, come on. Perfect. So I will do the trimming again. Um, okay, how much I have left here? Perfect. So this time I will trim it a little bit. Yeah. And maybe, you know what, let's do it like that. I will trim the whole piece here, but I will try to reap it. How about that? So I will have more seamless transition between my areas. Okay, here is the one piece. Okay, and let's cut it. We will leave the edge in one second. I will put it inside. And now I will just reap this part of the paper. So um, we will repeat the pattern. Because for sure the colors will be matching if I will Take the same area. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's take this bad boy down. Oh, it's already dry. So, soap gel, sponging. And again, I'm quite generous. And 
now the paper is down. It have the bubbles because I didn't sponge it here. Perfect. And now the other sponge. It's still saturated with the soft gel because I picked up quite a lot of product. And I'm tapping gently, removing the air bubbles. Let's lift it up and let ma let's make sure that the, the edge will roll underneath and it will not pick up the edge because edges have to be sealed extra nice. So then when I'm sanding it, I will not rip off all my pattern. And all the, uh, all the leftovers, like this piece, I will cut it in one second and we will reuse it. And all those little ones, when I will sand them off, I will keep them because they will be perfect for some mixed media backgrounds. Okay, perfect. Nice and smooth no creasing okay great so now we can start to think about okay this way around and i will try to make it as seamless as possible we don't have the mechanism over there so i will just rip around the mechanism around that element like I said, all the leftovers can be saved and reused. Nothing will go to waste here. Okay, and here we have another edge that we will rip off as well. Okay, so let's reapply the gel. I will grab myself a clean sponge because this one have no gesso on it or no white spots and the other one is quite dirty and here I don't know if the gesso that I just applied already dried or not so I don't want to risk it and perfect 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 great all the access and now uh, let's match the moon, more or less. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and now let's, let's make sure that it's down. Okay. Do we have um, gel underneath there? No, we don't. Okay. So soft gel, and you can use any gel to do that, but soft gel would be, in my opinion, the best option because it will dry fast and it will stick the paper perfectly and it will just give me the best result. But if you don't have it, you can use like a 3D gel or even a heavy body gel medium but I think that with heavy body <laughs> that will be a lot of tapping to make sure that everything is nice and smooth okay that's perfect let's rotate it once again and oh, come on come on yes yeah, so we are almost there we are almost there so now I will grab my scissors and trim off that edge that it's hanging here. I'm still not pulling too hard. It's almost set, so I could just rip it. If it would be set like for 100, if you are certain that it's that the area is set, you can just pull it and it will rip. But I'm not certain that it's completely dry okay gently 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 okay yes yes you have it perfect so i have this skinny piece and here 
as you can see I have a little bit of brown pattern and I forgot to trim the edge and it's too late because it's already stuck down so well just roll with it it will be fine okay okay perfect and let's leave it here And I will start from this area and we will just uh, make a patch to make sure that everything looks good all around. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, yeah. So here at this side, you can already see that I have my uh, reddish area in the ear. Okay. And... Here I have exactly the uh, same thing, so again, let's remove the very dark edge of the pattern. So they will be combined uh, seamlessly. Perfect. And now I'm flipping it uh, the other way around. So all those uh, elements, the sentiments were on the bottom, on this side, and now they will be uh, on the top part. Okay, and again, let's pop some close jaw. A little bit more. Okay, and I see that I have way too much, so I will just pick it up with my sponge. Okay, now lay down my pattern so they will go nice and seamless. Come on. Perfect and clean sponge because the ones that I have on the plate they have a little bit of uh, white product on top and on the area that papers overlap I have a darker area but I don't mind at all. If it will bother me I can smooth it out with the paint job later on. Okay, so here we will have again the handle. Let's rotate it again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, great. And let's sponge it. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. And now the paper on, paper on, a little bit of gel on top, and let's tap it again. If you see that you have some creasing like I have here, you can drag your sponge instead of tapping it. Tapping and gently, gently dragging. You can use your fingers as well, but mine are already sticky from soft gel, so paper will mm, stick to them. Those rice papers are super, super fragile. So a little bit of stickiness on your fingers and it will just stick to the finger. Okay, perfect. Okay, so how about those mm, those situations where you didn't notice the air pocket, but you have it. So I would wait until it's completely dry and just make a small cut with my uh, uh, scalpel blade. 
and fix it or you can stick a patch of the pattern on top i just put the butterfly on top <laughs> that's always a solution okay i'm checking on different angles and it seems perfect okay in some areas i do have small creasing but it will disappear because you know i will have to uh, fix it somehow uh, put the varnish or resin on top i bet that i will put the resin when i will be putting it on the top of my paper okay is that the angle for the camera let's check because i have a slight delay on my template so it's hard to see when you don't see your screen i could put a mirror in front of my yes okay so now here we have the harsh edge that i cannot mask off but here we have the ripped one so that will be really easy i should fold about that edge earlier but we'll fix it anyway so now i will put this part and i have a cut here but it's not perfect cut it's the cut that i made with my scissors so it's like a little bit messy and again I'm putting so jar with not the cleanest sponge ever to make sure that I have some adhesive on my piece. Now let's put the paper on. Okay. And a little bit more of so jar on top. Okay. Dab it. This way I'm kind of sealing the paper between two layers of soft gel so it's it will work like a light coat of varnish and here on this edge I will uh, use a little bit of gesso that I still have on my sponge here and I will do the same here just a little bit because you know I I don't have to have it here perfect because I can always put my embellishments I will add some embellishments here so I don't mind that it will be slightly visible but adding a little bit of gesso will just turn it down and the other piece and that's the mm, the thin piece that we took uh, from uh, from the edge okay a little bit higher oops okay so now we are fixing that uh, that part that i lifted up come on i don't mean to lift it so we have to sponge a little bit more. Okay. Oh, now I feel nice coat underneath. And let's uh, the other way around because we're good. Okay. And here I'm matching the edge on the bottom to make sure that it will lead me to the top. I really need just a millimeter here. Yeah, perfect. It, it's just enough. <laughs> Good eye. Okay. And uh, you can see the edge here underneath. But it's not super harsh. It's not super visible. I can remove that area because that... Uh, I think it's a jaw don't remember what was here but it's quite dark element so we will just read this part off again sticky fingers 
and the paper is really fragile right now really easy to tear too much okay now i'm happy let's stick it down stick it down go down 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 perfect and we have just a little area to fix so i will again trim off some paper from the top and we will just add it there and call it done <laughs> the first layer is done okay Ooh, i like how it looks so i will go with my scissors and fussy cut that element how about that it will look super cool and it will cover all the boo-boos that I might make on my way. Mm, okay, one second. Okay, yeah, and it's perfect. And now because I have the piece of paper, a smaller piece, I will add some soap gel into my paper. I would not recommend to sticking everything like that because in the moment uh, that paper will be soaked with soft gel, it will be very, very fragile, very delicate, very hard to maneuver and use. So uh, it's just for those little patches like the one here. And you have to be quite delicate because it wants to wrinkle. Perfect. It will be not like seamless, but seamless enough for me. <laughs> okay. Perfect. And let's sponge it to make sure that everything is sealed, especially the edge. Because like I said, I don't want the edges to pick up when I will go with the sandpaper on top. Okay. Okay, great. So now let's find the area that I like the most. Um, it will be on the other side. Give me one second. Okay. It will be here. Perfect. But I lifted an edge here, so let me fix it. Where is my... Yes, it's here. Just a little bit. And now like Perfect. Okay, so that will be the area that I actually started with. And now it's wet because I sponged some on top so let's rotate it one more time okay we can take this one is it stable is it oh yeah okay so here i have my uh my grip i want to add some embellishments here and there to my piece um wait how it will stand it will stand like that Okay, I will not go all around with my embellishments and I will show you what I have. So, I preferred, I had like a whole set of elements. They are uh, painted with Phenobar Black Gesso uh, and those will be more metallic accents uh, on my piece because we have glitter on top so we have to have something metallic as well. And I also have my favorite stencils and on the areas like here, I think that stenciling will cover up really nicely all the, all the edge. And uh, I will not make it like side to side, just a little bit here and there. So it will disappear uh, into my composition. And I will use my paste to do my stenciling. Light paste is not like completely opaque. It's not translucent either. It's the, the gray area between being opaque 
and translucent. So it is. It will be perfect solution to hide that edge and to have a seamless transition into my composition. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Let's pick it up. Great. I have a gold leaf inside, <laughs> so it might be that we'll have some gold leaf in here. Uh, okay. Which side is up? This side is up. Okay. The in the perfect world, my piece is already dry. And I could stick my stencil with uh, with some tape, but you know the word is not perfect, unfortunately. So I will have to just be very, very gentle and careful. And I knew that I want to use stencils, and I didn't bring a bowl of water. Hopefully my husband is watching me and he will bring me some big dish with water to soak my stencil in because I really like the stencil and I don't want to lose it. Okay, so like that. And let's make this one also happen. Okay. It would be cool to use the clean spatula not like mine, so it will not pick up the texture that you want to have on your piece. A little bit more paste. Oh my god, I would not mind to have the third hand, the one that would hold the jaws, hold the stencils. <laughs> uh, okay. Perfect. Oh, and I can make the one over here. So I didn't want edge to edge, so I will not have the rough and harsh edges for my stenciling. Okay, here. And I can repeat that procedure. I'm trying to uh, match the, uh, the checker. Because I want a little bit here and there just to make it look more seamless. And we will, again, not go all around the piece. It's supposed to just be a little bit here and there. Now again, let's do the same thing here. Oh, come on, move. <laughs> Okay, okay, it will go here, it will go here, so now let's, perfect, come on, paste, oh my god, the third hand, I'm telling you guys, the third hand would be very useful here, okay, and I want to focus my embellishments in one maybe two areas of my piece because I still want it to be usable and it will stand in the corner so it cannot be two dimensional so I can put it under the wall without worrying that um, my embellishments will damage the wall or the wall will damage my embellishments okay it's seems to be fine so because I cannot wash that stencil I will take a piece of cloth and I will just heavily spray it with water and make sure that I will clean it afterwards really well probably with a brush that you use to clean your nose okay I will remove the whole Right, papers from here and let's let's work a little bit on this area uh, so we have the resin prints uh, from my mold uh, from redesign and I think that they will look fabulous I don't want them to be 
colorful i think that i will leave them white you could easily paint them with something with for example with impasto paste or with uh, rust effect paste they will look cool if we would do so and i will stick them with 3d gloss gel if they are heavier than resin then i would recommend to use um oh my god um an extra heavy uh body gel but for those you can use 3d gel and i'm adding a generous amount because i can clean it later on from underneath wait where is the handle handle is here perfect and let's add the x here okay and if you want your elements because my mm, surface is slightly curved so you can use the heat gun that i don't think i have that would be cool if actually my husband would watch me and could bring it but uh, my resin is uh, freshly run so it's quite flexible so it will curve itself but if you are using resin and you want to curve it you have to heat it with the heat gun and it will obey and adjust to the surface okay how about adding one more of those elements uh, here yeah i think it will look cool again 3d gloss jar okay and all the um, adjusting of the shapes like i told you that you can warm it and it will curve when it's set with the jaw like semi set i can also do it so probably uh when it's a little bit dry i will just go all around and heat it with heat gun and make sure that all the edges are lying flat now let's remove the excess of gel mm, let's put it on the plate i will use it for the smaller embellishments okay shoot i'm closed with the cat okay so uh it might be the case that my cat will make a surprise appearance <laughs> i didn't notice him when i was uh, prepping okay and i would add a little bit of my black elements as well because tomorrow when everything is dry i can go on top with metallic paints or with waxes and uh, make it look super cool and steampunky and you know it's always a good solution and that industrial look will fit me perfectly and it will look cool with the shiny top and some metal elements Probably I will make another composition like that somewhere else. Like I need three spots, two with big one and one with the small composition. And it's not like the rule that you have to have um, uh, composition in threes. I'm just that kind of freak and um, I need it. There is no any other reason than me wanting to have everything in an even number. So it's either one, but one will look like I made a mess. I made a mistake and I wanted to cover it up. So if I will repeat it, it will look more intentional. And it's always a, a good option. If you make a bubble <laughs> somewhere and then you fix it, uh, wait, I'm looking for... Oh, here it is. Okay. So now I'm switching for heavy body gel. Because I will uh, put elements, uh, you know, like here we have like whole surface. Whole surface of my embellishment is touching uh, the um, 
background and here we have just few touching points so 3d gel is a safer solution in that case and when it's dry a little bit you can remove all the excess because i'm adding way more than i need and i want it to ooze because that will make sure that the element will hold and it's not enough it's not enough in that section we want to work with the blobs normally and in any other case we are trying to avoid the blobs but here they will provide us a nice grip okay and let's hold it and remove the excess right away the most of it uh, at least and all the rest i will remove later on with the brush okay go on perfect so now something here how about another gel like that yes it's quite tricky this i don't either i will see my uh work area or you will see it so definitely for tomorrow i will arrange a mirror for myself so i can see my screen perfect okay come on just stick down okay great and something on top how about the star how about adding a star here hmm. no star will not fit me mm, something small okay this this little this little element and again because we are sticking resin to resin so basically plastic to plastic and the surface is not optimal it will start to stuck I'm using a heavy body gel and just adding my element and it's very uneven very uneven underneath so a little bit more okay perfect now it will hold yes and all those blobs give it like 20 minutes and then remove it with the clean or with the wet brush um, okay, I also have some moons. Let's see how the moon will look here. I really like that mold and I really like that uh, motif. Just let me clean the bottom of my moon because the paint didn't dry on underneath. Okay, oh, it will look cool. It will look cool, but this one is quite big. Oh, and the other one will be facing the other way. So I need something here to have like the even um, surface. What did we use here? We used this one. So let's add this one here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Great. Where we will need it? If the one point is here, the second touching point will be here. Great. And this one is very... Okay. Yeah, I have something underneath my element. Give me one second. Yeah, it's a blob of something, something stuck underneath my gear that's why it was sticking out so weird yeah now it's now we will be fine yeah the moon can go here and they will be not look they will not look good when they are in line so let's let's do it like that perfect 
and something little here. Uh, something little. I had something little. It's another gear. Surprise, surprise. It will be another gear. Okay. Great. And now the moon will go here. Yay. Like I said, when it's dry, I will heat it with the heat gun and I will bend the resin pieces so they will... Uh, obey a little bit more to the surface and they will not stick out so much but I have to wait until the jaw will uh, cure at this point because um, I could also plan it a little bit more ahead and prepare it uh, beforehand and just bend all my pieces but it will work both ways it will work and we will have a similar result. Okay, let's just <clears throat> scooch it a little bit. I need something here. I visually need something here. So what do we have more? I have elements like that. Wait. Let's wipe the bottom because it's black. So if I will put it here, and will not like it, then I'm stuck with the stain. Okay, it will look fine. I didn't have to like it. I like it already. <laughs> um, tomorrow we will have... <laughs> yes, I am still up. <laughs> oh my god, you know, don't go to bed super late. You can go to bed and rewatch it like tomorrow. Because <laughs> honestly, I'm on my prime time. <laughs> I'm mentally in different time zone. Oh my god, sorry, I got so much into the process. I forgot to check my comments. Um, okay, and uh, how about adding a little moon, but this little moon looks in the same way, so no, no for the little moon. Do I have the little face, like uh, the other moon, because I have the big one, but the big one, no, actually he will look cool. Okay, let's go with him. Let's go with this. Okay. Okay, and let's press him. Nice. Okay, does it hold? Yes. And if it holds, that means that I have exactly enough for so many. So now I will finish this little area with adding some little details. And my little details will be some screw heads. From the same mold uh, that I I had those gears from. We will add them here and there. Okay. I will add one here. Okay. Oops. And you know what? It will be easier if I will just scoop a little bit. Is it still in the frame? Yes. If I will scoop a little bit of gel medium here and just uh, dunk them into gel medium. And I'm shocked that you are still awake, to be fair. <laughs> I'm really shook and uh, that you are still up. Okay, a little screw here. And all that oozing, again, it needed cleaning up but it have to dry a little bit before cleaning up. Okay, and how about adding some metal elements? I have here a small tray with some peanut butter metal embellishment. Okay, and I have a little, little, metal elements that will be just perfect okay so 
to not take way too much time i have no idea how long i'm going because uh on some point i i just got into the process let's see um i have no idea i don't even know what time it is mm. okay so it's one hour so around 30 minutes still and then rest will be tomorrow okay let's add some stars let's add some stars because we have the moon so now i can go with my go with the stars press it down perfect <clears throat> i could use a medium one here uh, about here yeah perfect and the pen into 3d uh, no it's not 3d it's heavy body gel sorry 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 okay so let's add it here because i'm thinking that i want to have the top with the made with the new glitter paste because it's so awesome and so sparkly but i will have to cover it with the rice paper as well okay how does it look it looks quite decent i still need something here but i can add it later on you will see tomorrow unpainted version so you will not miss a lot i will need to cover the top with something and I think that I will go with the uh, rice paper and again with the, with the paste. So let's adjust the whole set. <laughs> because now we can make you guys. Uh, look, uh, I can give you a view from above. Okay, this guy will go here. And this one will go flat. What's underneath? Of course, my elements, more of my elements. Perfect. Okay. I hope I will not make you sick. <laughs> so, the top, the top, the top, the top. I am tempted to use exactly the same paper. First of all, because I still have it. Second of all, because it will be perfect match. I want to cover just uh, the top area. That means that the, uh, the walls will have to be painted uh, on some color. Mm. What color I could go with? I could go with gold maybe? We will see tomorrow what color will go on top. So I'm covering the top with the same paper. All right, maybe. Okay, guys, maybe not. Let's see Minnie's journaling message. The ladies will be uh, way too light. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, I see that the one that I want to use. Okay, so uh, here we have a little bit reddish areas that I could use. I will just tear it out. And I'm trying to not have the very dark edges anywhere. Because it will just make my transitions harder. Okay. I'm getting brave and just ripping the paper. Yeah, that will look fun. That will look fun. I just don't want to have the angels here. So let's make sure that we don't have the harsh edge. Okay. And where is the other one? With the ladies. Oh, yes, it's here. So here is the one that I wanted to use for my lighter accents, those areas. So I can rip off a couple of areas 
again, I'm avoiding using the the the, oh, the characters. I just want the background pieces, the sentiments, postcards, uh, or lettering, those kind of things. I'm trying to um, avoid using the characters. I will give them another opportunity. Okay. 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 Great. Yeah, that will look great. Do we still have some gel left? Yeah. I can actually just sponge it. Sorry, you can hear my bracelet banging on, on the top of the table. Okay, and where is my soft jaw? My soft jaw is here. Uh, no, my soft jaw is here. And that's another tip. Let's just squeeze some of it. Okay, and let's do it faster. On the flat surface, then it will be faster. Where is my knees? Perfect. And let's put it down flat. Great. I'm thinking which um, which paste I want to use because there are so many of them and they are all beautiful. I'm kind of between Magic Potion and Firebird. They both amazing and they both iridescent and they will look so beautiful under the resin. Because uh, I think that on the top of my table I will definitely have to use a thin coat of the resin to appear by tomorrow. Sponge, 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 sponge. Okay, I'm looking at the comments. Good evening, Liliana. How are you? Where are you currently? I, uh, is it evening or afternoon or early morning? Because depending on where you are. Okay, I'm getting excited about that project, to be fair. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I didn't have the fully developed concept. I knew that I wanted uh, to use the rice papers because they excite me very much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, that's great. Oops. No, don't fold. Don't fold. And the paste will cover up all the um, little boo-boos that I might have. And I can also, wait, we don't have the glue underneath. So it will create the air pocket and of course the resin will pick up my air pocket like crazy. Okay. And again, no harsh red edges. So I will remove the, the edging from this one and I just overlap them. Uh, like I said, the paste will cover up all the imperfections in my texture. So I'm not stressed too much about it. Where is the soft jaw? Okay, probably I will run out of this tube. Let's just finish it off. Great, great. Okay. Actually, you know, probably I could get um I could not cover the top 
I could just go with the paste. Uh, if I had more time, I could go with the paste a couple of times and make sure that um, I will have a uh, opaque effect. Because if you apply it a couple of times, then you will get full opacity. Now the edge here. Okay. I want to make sure that it will look amazing. Okay, I need another piece of paper. Uh, too many humans, but we have also some vintage arts. Let's grab the part with the vintage and and it's so cool that the lettering is in Polish. Love it. Okay. I'm removing all the very dark areas again and just put it down. Let's just stick it down. Let's just stick it down. Stick it down, stick it down, stick it down, perfect. Okay, great. Another piece of this one. Oh no, I have one over here. And it doesn't have a dark edge, so it's perfect. Will be perfect. I know that they uh, a little bit overlap with the walls here, but um, I will trim it off later on when everything is dry and the paste is dry. And I think that the edges will look fabulous in gold. I have um, icing paste uh, in uh, white gold, I think. And it will look fab. It will look fab. We will test it on one of the areas in a bit. As soon as I will put down the glitter paste. Okay. So, let's, oops. Let's add a little bit of gel in the corner to make sure that everything will seal here okay great we don't want any edges to pick up later on and i will have to trim it before i will go with the paste i think because otherwise yeah smaller brush this one has the jaw on it and with this smaller brush I'm just making sure that the edge is sealed it's smudging on black not good uh, what was the cube with the jaw I lost it did I yes I did no worries we have oh no it's here okay as uh, i think that it's almost done we will use every single bit so i'm opening it it should be enough to get me through the top still and now let's let's make sure that the that the edges here when it makes a turn are sealed Okay, perfect. So now let's hold it with the brush and just let it leave access. Perfect. Need more gel here. All the leftover. Please. 
a little bit, but I don't think that uh, it will be an issue when I cover it with the paste. And as my table is quite big, there is a slight chance that I will use whole jar of the paste to cover um, that up. Just let me know that it might be quite a product detail project. But to be fair, if the final look will look at least half as good as I imagine it looking, it will be worth it. And if you are a glitter lover and you, you saw those tapes with those flakes and oh, oh my god, it's just so beautiful. Now let's dive in. Let's dive in and let's put that that piece here. Look, it fits perfectly. That makes me happy. Okay, I have to rush a little bit less because uh, it's quite creasy here. So let's just. my sponge because definitely I go less damage sorry for the sound it, the table tip it's uneven and it makes like boom 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 every time when I work on that okay and again spreading soft jaw spreading Job, making sure that I will get rid of uh, all the bubbles and all the air pockets. And now let's remove another piece of this paper. Yeah. Okay, I will divide it into half because it's curved and I want to make sure that I have the nice coverage here on the edge so edge will go with the brush and the rest will go with the sponge yep okay now here to make it seamless Oops, my moon fell off. Go back, go back. I think I will have to use squeaky jaw and not just poke it all the time because it's uh, dot. Great. Great. Was it like that? No, I think it was more like. Let's grab this area and it's cool because it's quite dark and it's dark to dark. I use exactly the same um, same pattern here so it will look okay. I think I will go with the magic potion this time around. Okay, so let's move the each piece and let's place that one down again removing the lady sorry lady you have to go and this one actually this one can stay no now it will bother me that I have only one I will cover the middle with something. Pretty sure that I had some scraps laying around. It will match the colors. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And some jaw here. And 
just filling all the gaps that we have with the leftover. Right, and now here. Perfect. Okay. I'm thinking, should I? Um, oops, we have the face here, no faces on the table. So I will just feel bad when I will put, um, you know, stuff on somebody's face. <laughs> okay, here I have some, um, some, some extras that I could use here, actually. Oh, do it for one second. Okay. Bread and now sponging with them. Yay! Okay. Perfect. So all the areas that I have like uncovered, those are just a little ones. And then like one here. They will be just very visible because they will be very white. So I don't need a specific pattern too much. I just I just don't want to see the whiteness of the first coat here because that will that will be super visible. Okay, great. And something here. But here I can use something darker. So we'll take this one. Let's just stick it. Yeah. Okay, so all the edges are uh, nicely sealed all around my table tip. Uh, okay, and now we have magic potion. Let me let me open this one. Where is my spell bar? Oh, it's here. Okay. So I have my magic potion that will look like that. It have iridescent, very iridescent um, elements and it's a little bit brownish. And where is the other one that I was considering? It was Phoenix, I think. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, no. I will go with the magic potion. So, we will just spread it on top. Okay, that was a good choice. <laughs> that was a good choice. And like I said, I will probably go through whole jar. I'm trying to spread it as even as possible. I will have to cover a whole surface and it might be the case that one will be not enough and I will need more. Then I will grab another color and just fill the gaps. Because I want very very sparkly, quite even top. It will dry and then I will put the um, epoxy resin on it. Okay. So you will have to trust me that I will cover the whole top. Tomorrow you will see it. Um, and right now, uh, yeah. do you have any questions or maybe suggestions? <laughs> But I think it will look just fabulous. I'm trying to spread it as even as possible to not have any uh, larger bumps. Okay. 
Oh my god, it's so nice and shiny. Love it. Love it. So yeah, <clears throat> what I will do is cover whole top with the paste. And you know what? I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Sorry. I'm tempted. I will mix them. Because I really like the Phoenix. Uh, when Anna was showing the paste, I really like the Phoenix one. Oh, yes. So, let's mix them. Without using more. <laughs> that will look fab. That will look really fab because right now uh, it doesn't look so spectacular even uh, when I tilt it. Wait, maybe if I will bring the light a little bit closer, can you see how sparkly it is? No, not at all. No chance. Not with my lightning, but it is cool. It is cool. It's very sparkly. I will make an Insta video right away. And okay, now I'm also grabbing a golden dragon because that one will, I think, fit here as well. And let's just add a yes. Okay, so <laughs> all the colors. Um, they have the same colors. Uh, all the three that I picked have similar colors as I already have on my piece on the papers. It's a gold and brownish and they will be just beautiful iridescent flakes on top of all my table. So I will cover the whole table and make it dry till tomorrow. Hopefully run the resin on top. If I will be not able to then we will run the resin at the end tomorrow and I will uh, dry it, make another composition on uh, the other area and we meet tomorrow at uh, the same time to paint it when it will be dry and hopefully when you will be able to see all the sparkle but I already see that it will look just so cool just so cool really 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 cool okay so that's it for today uh, we have the to the table i will show you how it looks uh, here on the top i will cover whole top with the um, effect paste uh, and i will just mix golden dragon uh, magic potion and phoenix and here we have the composition with the paste and elements. They are black and white for now. Tomorrow we will do a little bit more to them. And I will go here and there with the texture paste and with the elements. And yeah, send off the uh, axis when it's dry. And we will need tomorrow to finish off the table. Do you have any questions, suggestions, or anything like that? If you do, then let me know. Wait, maybe I can take you off here. Yeah. If I will take you in my hand, can you see how sparkly the top will be? Or oh, not necessarily. Okay, a little bit. <laughs> so it will be just this amazing bedazzle love it i love it love it love it love it i love it and i'm i'm really confident that this piece will look super fab tomorrow okay so off i go see you tomorrow again in my living room at the same time it will be 5 p.m est and yeah thanks for watching guys